Alright, as you can see, we're being attacked by Big Golden Warrior. Except when they tell him to stop, he stops. And Randy's got a creepy look on his face <laughs> as he looks like he's got a plan for world domination. And I forget his name. He is our ninja, and he's like Brock. He never opens his eyes. Open your eyes! Alright, now we will be followed by uh, the Golden Skeleton. And we have a limited amount of control over what we can do with him. Like, if I wanted to, I can sit here and tell him to do something specific. And he's going to do it. I don't quite realize what all the commands do, because they're all pictures. But... And you can kind of keep bad guys bouncing indefinitely. Infinite juggling possibilities. And he is one of the main villains, except he's more of the villain comic relief. And the music sounds kind of, um, Castlevania-ish when they're dealing with the dead things. And so the Golden Warrior is Jesus. He can bring back the dead. Oh, horrible jokes. There are combos for everyone, like uh, traditional uh, special attacks from like Street Fighter and such, like down forward attack or do something. Uh, it alternates based off of if you're playing a uh, magic user or not. Like things like that. Yeah, there, there's also just mini commands you can do. If you don't want to bother, you know, memorizing all that. This sort of mind blows! Crap, I don't remember the, uh, the Gundam phrase for Shining Finger. Oh, that is fun. And for all of those curious, as far as, you know, other game mechanics, you can unlock all of these characters, and there is a versus mode that you can play in. Everyone has their own move set, and things like that. So, all these characters you can unlock and beat the crap out of your friends with if you haven't copied the game. I think you can even play as Pikachu specifically instead of... Yeah, you can even play as just the, uh, the road that Randy's guys are playing. And I really have no idea what he's talking about, nor do I care. I can just never stop moving. Dance, Randy, dance. And your rat dances too. He's hamster dancing. So, this game is one of the more popular Saturn games. Any, If you look at most, you know, top 20 Saturn game lists, a lot of people put this on there. I had really never heard of this until actually after the Saturn went defunct. I got a copy of it kind of cheap, used at a, 
uh, a video store that went out of business. Just a little hole in the wall video store. Um, to the forest. To the forest. Um, I got a copy of it later, and I, I played it once, and I I wasn't all that impressed with it. It was me. Eh. And now I'm like, this is actually a phenomenal game. So. All right. Um, do we want to cut it here? Or do you think we have time to fit the forest level in there? Yeah. Either. Way. Try for the forest level. Sure. Yeah. If not, we can just pause it in the middle of it. It's not like we can't pause it in the middle of the level. It's fine. I'm not opposed to that idea. Monster in the forest. That sounds like an innuendo. And as you can see, I don't have the fun sword anymore. Billy the Golden Warrior took my sword. I will have it. Fireballs! Go! I can't hit anything with my fireballs. This is why I hate this. Fireballs! And if there's nothing to target the fireball, it's gonna fall over. And yes, bees are something you have to fight. As you've noticed, I can get caught in friendly fire attacks. But only sometimes. Only sometimes. I, I have no idea what the uh, what the counter to it is. But there are just times that I get, you know, crack shot by the guy. Giant lightning ball. And I do take damage from those, don't I? I mean, we have no. determined that we take a I little bit. I think so. But I mean, not even the most. Not as much damage as I would take from like an enemy. Like that guy from the distance because I think he's going to pull off. still get experience for juggling them as well. See, like, like that, I just got hit. I think I just got hit like that. Maybe it's if you use a spell and then someone hits you and changes how it works. Okay, so yeah, we won't be showing you that. Because we missed the signpost. No, it's... It, is it at the end of this one? Yeah, I think there's another one still. 
We'll see. The, at the end of the forest area, there's a signpost. And if you're standing in front of it, you go to the special area. And that's where you can level up. Not really that we need it for the policy. We're going to be finding our multitude of containers. But it never hurts having that extra level up. See, there's another little psychedelic rat up there because that is the instructor. All right, um, go ahead and call it here. That way, uh, right. yeah.